Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 500th episode of the On Fire B2B podcast, podcast where we take business owners and CEOs in the B2B space for the 500th time, six questions in nine minutes, because the best know when to be concise and when to end. And let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what do you do? My name is Earl Amin. I am the CEO and founder of Fidelitas Opportunity Platform. We are a platform that invites businesses to become members for the purpose of refining their business and be, becoming more viable and more attractive to investors. Love it, Earl. That's awesome. Question number two, what is the best thing about working with businesses? Businesses are sometimes like children at age two. Uh, sometimes they can be very compliant, uh, but most of the time they can be very raucous. So you have to give attention and intention to your business. And that can make for a good time. And sometimes it can make for a headache. It can, it can. Question number three. I'm hearing from other top executives that testimonials and reviews are becoming more critical now, especially video ones. What are your thoughts? I agree with that absolutely 100%. Um, I am now, even as a business owner, uh, constantly looking to refine our capacity to gain uh, testimonials, video testimonials, but looking to refine that process. So ultimately, even a quote can be a, um, a powerful tool to okay. attracting future business. It can, 100% agree. Earl, question number four. What advice you share with other companies working in the B2B industry? Go. That B2B is, is, is all about the same thing that B2C is, and that is serving a need. Mm -hmm. First, identify what the need is, ensure that you are qualified to meet that need, and then concisely uh, speak to it, concisely deliver it, and to do so with an integrity around your product or service. Absolutely. And I want to ask you another question. So how can someone make their business more viable, attractive, and less risky to investors? Well, again, that's what the platform does is we provide the necessary tools in real time and in an automated fashion so that you don't have to come into your business asking every little question, but these things are all brought together in an automated fashion so you can create a strategic plan in just a few days that is immediately market executable just by way of, of an example that sounds awesome earl question number five what other top ceos and business owners in the b2b industry like yourself would you like to acknowledge as a leader and should be a guest of my podcast wow uh, my mind is now just buzzing uh, but i will immediately comes to mind uh sarah russell uh, CEO and founder of Beyond 10, uh, also uh, James Taylor, CEO and founder of Aug Augmented Systems. Uh, those two come to mind immediately. Awesome. I'll look them both up here. And again, you've given me some other names in the past that have been awesome. So really appreciate it. But Earl, as you know, question number six is always the most important question of the podcast. Mm -hmm. You got to focus on this one, Earl. All right. Tell me about your first time, your first sale. Ah, my first sale. Uh, it's interesting. I had to share that with someone here recently. Uh, my first big sale uh, was after college um, as a young adult uh, selling, of all things, Kirby vacuums. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I happened to hit upon a good customer. They bought five of them. It was a happy and joyous day. That is very, that's great. Selling five at one house, that's pretty darn impressive. Oh, yeah. They had a big house and had many houses. It, love it there. So, Earl, you now have got four minutes and 51 seconds, but I have a bonus question for you. All right. How does it feel to have the honor of being the 500th episode? Well, I am, in fact, and indeed quite honored, Bob. Uh, I've watched your efforts for quite some time and uh, really have been impressed and amazed with your, con your continuity, your, pers your persistence, and how you deliver uh, these interviews uh, across the, the platform. Uh, so I was quite surprised, but quite pleased and quite honored to be your 500th 
uh, podcast. So I just say thank you. Well, you're welcome. And actually, that's one thing I tell other podcasters, your milestones, 100, 200, 300, you know, whatever, or whatever it is there, either go to people that you want, that you have been really impactful on you and ask them to be on because they'll feel really honored there or go to a different prospect and say, Hey, you've been, you know, you want to come on be my hundredth episode. People are very excited to do that as well. Indeed, indeed. There we go. That's Early, you've got three minutes and 52 seconds left. So this is some promo time. You can ask me a question. You can talk about the weather. Or since the best know when to be concise and when to end, we end early. Go. Well, uh, if there's anything that I'm going to say is that uh, in these turbulent and uncertain and changing times, uh, pivoting, you know, you hear, I hear the term pivot a lot, but a lot of times people don't know what it means to pivot. But the importance of understanding it is that it means to turn on a dime uh, with a limited amount of time and space, but turn the whole thing in a different direction. And that's what makes it really exciting, but that's also what makes it really difficult. So imagine turning a big ship. Normally you have to turn in increments over time and distance, but when you pivot, you've got to turn right. just like that. So it takes understanding, it takes planning, it takes courage to pivot. And unfortunately, not everyone is able to do it successfully. So some fail, uh, but those who survive the, the pivot and engage it with courage, oftentimes uh, find that they are far more than they thought they were yep. and, uh, and go on to be very, very successful. That, that is true. Perfect example that I know of is the speaking industry. It's now, it's because it became online like that. I was yes. talking to one person. He said, yeah, you know, I'm basically, I'm on a plane. I get off the plane. And he said he had 50, 50 canceled speaking engagements. Yeah. You know, that quickly yeah. there because when everything's happening. So yeah. yeah, but he's doing great now. So I totally get it there. Would you like some time to promote yourself? Because you got two minutes and five seconds left. Well, what can I say? Um, I will stay focused on the Fidelitas Opportunity Platform. Um, this opportunity came about because I recognize that there are so many businesses that are seeking funding, uh, but oftentimes it's represented that you know, there are funding meccas, but usually you go through an incubator, you go through an accelerator, you go through a, a, a venture suite, but you come out with a certificate and then you go sleep in your car uh, because you don't come out with funding. So right. I recognize that as the problem and, and so developed the opportunity that as a member of the Fidelitas Opportunity Platform, you come onto the platform, you are, you are there are four pillars and that's continuous, uh, continuous um, evaluation, uh, continuous refinement, continuous reporting and continuous funding. And so with those things in front of you, you know, the opportunity to fail becomes the least concern. It is how greatly can you succeed? And that's what we focus on with an intensity such that we call it an amplifier. And then as you go through that process, um, we actually also have a fund that, be, that is watching you because that's where the reporting goes to. So investors are watching you. As you achieve milestones, we've made it easy and simple to actually deliver funding to companies when and as needed when they reach those miles, milestones. So we've solved for a number of problems and we welcome companies onto the platform because of that continuity, that continuousness. Um, and therefore we want to increase the number of, of companies that are actually getting funded, which right now is around 3%. We want to hit double digits. We want to hit hit 10% and go beyond there of companies that are getting funded. So we actually stimulate the economy. Businesses are competing because competition is what drives value and success. Yep. And, uh, and then the entire country becomes the beneficiary. Awesome. Early you pulled it off. Six questions in nine minutes because the best know when to be concise and when to end. Website, say it real Thank quick. Fidelitasplatform.com. In the description, it's magic. Earl, for the 500th time, thank you for being on. Tip of the hat to you. Thank you very much, For Bob. everyone else watching or listening, make sure you check out more episodes of the On Fire B2B podcast. We're not done. We're going to go to at least 1,000, if not more. My name is Bob Clark. You all have a wonderful day now. I will talk to you later. Bye.